By the end of this module, you will have a basic understanding on Pressure Booster Pumping Application How it works traditionally, and the Danfoos solution The key benefits of using a VLT, HVAC Drive-In Pressure Booster, Pumping Systems let me start the module with a brief description of the pressure booster pumping application. Pressure booster pump maintain a constant domestic water pressure in commercial buildings. Most multi-storey buildings, including office building, hospital, hotels and apartment complexes, require pressure booster pumps to maintain constant supply pressure to terminals such as lavatories and showers. Domestic water pressure can vary when large loads are imposed on the system at times during the day. For example, large water usage for showering in the morning. We shall now look at a traditional pressure booster pumping system. The pressure booster pump system has equal size pumps piped in parallel. The pressure booster pumps are sized to maintain the design pressure at the lowest suction pressure at a certain point in the system. An ideal location would be at the furthest location. Pump suction pressure varies as the loads on the total water distribution system vary. Periods of high water use cause the system pressure to decrease. A pressure control valve is used to vary the building water system resistance and maintain the desired pressure in the system as the flow rate decreases or the pump suction pressure varies to avoid overpressurization and control problems. In traditional solution, when a single pump is in operation and the pressure controlled valve opens, the flow increases and the pressure decreases. Similarly, when pressure controlled valve closes, the flow decreases and the pressure increases with the speed remaining constant. Multiple pumps are used when the flow requirement varies significantly. Multiple pumps are placed in parallel. As the consumption changes, additional pumps are staged on or off to maintain the pressure. Let me elaborate on how this is done. When the requirement of water increases, additional pumps are staged on to meet the desired flow requirement, thus maintaining a constant pressure. Similarly, when the requirement of water decreases, the pumps are staged off according to the desired flow needed thus maintaining a constant pressure. Now have a look at the graph. It shows the sequence pumping operation. Thus, you can notice from the graph that there is increase in flow when more pumps are staged on with the pressure maintained constant. When adding a pump in parallel, each pump operates at the same pressure and provides its share of the system flow at that pressure. Pumps of equal size are recommended and the parallel pump curve is established by adding the pump capacities at the corresponding pressure. Let's now see how system flow is varied. Take a look at the graph. It shows the operating conditions for parallel operation. As the system pressure sensor modulates the control valve, changing the system resistance, the system curve moves up and down the pump curve. Let's now have a look at the pressure drop across the valve. Take a look at the graph. It shows the effect in static pressure or head as a pressure controlled valve closes. The system operating point is at the intersection of the pump curve and the system curve. The system curve is made up of two components, the flow pressure loss, pipe friction, fittings, check valves, etc., and the pressure loss absorbed by the control valve. 
As the diagram shows, when the valve is wide open, the valve pressure loss is small. As the valve begins to close, the pressure increases, moving the system curve from point A towards point B, and flow is reduced. The flow pressure loss is reduced because of the lower system flow. At point B, the pressure drop across the valve is large, and energy is used by the booster pump motor to overcome this increased pressure drop. You have seen that, in the traditional solution, energy is wasted by using a pressure-controlled valve, which absorbs energy. So there is wastage of energy. How can we overcome this wastage? That is where Danfoss solution comes into play. In Danfoss solution, the best energy savings are achieved by installing a VLT HVAC drive to the system. A VLT HVAC drive can be added to the pressure booster pump as an alternative to using pressure controlled valves. This saves the energy that would have been absorbed by the valve and eliminates its cost and maintenance. The savings often amount to 20% or more simply due to the safety factor used during the design of the system. If the suction pressure of the pump varies, the oversizing of the pump required to handle the lowest suction pressure does not penalize the installation when the suction pressure increases because the VLT HVAC drive varies the speed of the pump. Multiple pumps also benefit from the use of a VLT HVAC drive. In the standard control application, a pressure transducer sends a signal to the VLT HVAC drive. And according to demand, the VLT HVAC drive controls the speed of the first pump motor and stages on and off additional constant speed motors. By varying the speed of the initial motor, variable speed control is provided by the system. This maintains a constant pressure while eliminating pressure surges, resulting in reduced system stress and quieter operation. For maximum energy savings and optimal control, each pump can be controlled by a VLT HVAC drive with each stage pump operating at the same speed. Thus in Danfoss solution, as the demand for flow increases and additional pumps in sequence start, and the pressure remains constant at the desired value. Take a look at the graph. You can notice that as the demand for flow increases, that is when additional pumps are staged on, the desired pressure remains constant at the desired level. You will find that in the Danfoss solution, where a VLT HVAC drive is used, considerable energy savings are achieved compared to traditional methods. The energy savings capability of a properly installed VLT HVAC drive system is well known. However, the importance of sensor location is often overlooked. In relatively small pressure booster pumping systems found in commercial buildings, it is important to place the pressure sensor at the furthest possible location. This enables the VLT HVAC drive to take advantage of the decreased resistance in the piping network as the flow decreases. The control head requirement is now reduced to static demands of the system. When the system becomes too large or complex for one sensor, multiple sensors can be used, each placed in the critical area of the system. Where this is not possible, different set points can be established, depending on the number of pumps operating. This system is frequently used in very large system, such as found in water work projects. Take a look at the graphs. They show the impact of each method upon energy savings. This graph shows the energy used in traditional method. This graph shows the energy saved and the energy used on Danfoss solution 
with the sensor placed incorrectly. This graph shows the energy saved and energy used on Danfu's solution with the sensor placed correctly. A key benefit of using a VLT HVAC drive in pressure booster pump applications is the sleep mode function. The sleep mode stops the motor automatically when it senses the motor's operation is unnecessary to meet the flow requirement. Some applications run at low speeds for long periods of time without contributing to the process. Pressure booster pumps will run at low speeds without producing pressure at night time when water consumption is at its minimum. The sleep mode function stops the motor when operation is unnecessary and restarts the motor when required again without the need of a start-stop signal. Let's go in for a quick check of your understanding. Before ending this module, let me give you a brief summary of what we have learned. In traditional method, we have seen that the use of a pressure-controlled valve results in a wastage of energy. In Danfoss solution, according to the requirement, the VLT HVAC drive controls the speed of the first pump motor and stages on and off additional constant speed motors, thus maintaining a constant pressure. We also saw the sleep mode with boost function, which is a key benefit of using a VLT HVAC drive-in pressure booster pumping system.